Hey everybody, Ed from Ed's Model Madness. Built this kit a couple years ago. It is a very large airplane in 148 scale. Uh, I mean, the Sky Warrior, they called them the whale. They were huge airplanes anyway. A lot of detail in this kit. It had some issues going together. The fitment between the body halves, putting the bomb bay, the cockpit, and some of the interior together, and then trying to put the two halves together. You didn't have locators, so you had problems fitting things together. The bomb bay doors were actually uh, a little bit too small. Uh, they were too narrow for this aircraft. They didn't fit really well. I had to do a lot of work to try and get them to, to look decent. I changed the landing gear. Um, I put pewter landing gear on this airplane because it's so big and so heavy. Um, I just didn't think that the plastic struts were going to be able to hold it. I also got a resin tail cone and put on the airplane. It originally came with radar guided machine guns in the rear. Uh, those were deleted early on in the A3. Most of the ones that I saw when I was in service had a uh, had an aerodynamic fairing on the back of the airplane. So that's how I built. Other than that, the plane went together really well. It had lots of great detail, lots of photo etch came with it. So it was part of the kit. Now I did get uh, some aftermarket decals. Killer Whale decals. Um, they're from Furball Aero Design. All of the aircraft that I have in my collection are Navy. They all have the East Coast tail codes on them. And on this particular model, that's AB. It was an expensive kit. Of course, for the size and everything that came in it, it really wasn't a bad deal. After I put the pewter landing gear, put the resin tail cone, the aftermarket decals, this one got kind of expensive. For the money that I spent, it really turned out nice. So let's take a look. So thanks for watching. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification button. That way you'll know when I put out new content. Thanks again. Appreciate you guys. And I hope that y'all have a really, really great day.